Should you still be buying pre-construction condos? Should you be investing in pre-construction condos in Toronto when the price of pre-construction condos is 30, 40, and 50% more than resale? Okay, friends, Yossi here, Yossi Captain, Toronto Real Estate, agent mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage, amazing company. Thank you very much for letting me be there. So today we're gonna look at what's going on and why is the spread in price between new construction condos. And here you're looking at torontocondosforsale.com, that's my site, and once you go to the main site, uh, there'll be a box of projects, just hit that, or go from the menu, it doesn't matter, same place, and you'll get to the uh, to this list. So Untitled Condo, 55 Mercer, Fort Evan King, some of these officially launched, some of them not yet. Also depends how you do the search, you'll get certain results, different results in the main page. Okay, so you can go from here, print construction, and modify it this way, but it doesn't matter. Um, what's going on here is, for example, let's take 55 Mercer, that was just released Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. I think it coming on the old Wayne Gretzky's um, right there. And it's basically next door to Nobu and across from Bisha. Okay, so that's a 47 story, 543 units. Um, absolutely beautiful building. When you look at the price list, it's like, oh my God. So a studio starts at 574.9, so almost $600,000 for a studio. Notice that they run 10 to penthouse. That means they don't actually, they, they do not have different floor plates for higher floors, which to me, you know, if I were the developer, I'd probably look for larger units and higher floors because it's probably better, cheaper, and more uh, profitable to a developer to do larger units on large floors and smaller units on lower floors. But it is what it is. Uh, 400 square feet here for 604. That's 1,500 a foot, okay? 460 square feet, 688, 9, 468, okay? And you can see it runs here. And then the largest unit they have is 821, which is not that large, really. And it's a three bed, so it's a very tight three bed, and that's going for a million starting the tenth floor. That's starting from floor, tenth floor. So I'm not sure what the, um, how much they charge you extra per floor, the floor premium, the floor premium. But if it's a thousand or two thousand a floor, it probably should be a little more in a larger unit. Say three thousand a floor for the three bed, and forty-seven stories. Let's say add another thirty or forty. So that's another hundred grand basically will cost you to have this unit. So maybe a million two. And the penthouse may have 10 foot ceiling or 11 foot ceiling, so even more. So the penthouse easily, you're looking at 1.2, 1.3 million for this 821 square feet unit. And since all these units are available on the penthouse floor, how much would a 400 square foot unit would cost you on that penthouse floor? Say $700,000. So does, it, does that make any sense to invest $1,600 a foot where if you go condos.ca, I'm looking at fashion house here, so you can see what's going on. Uh, the average in the 416905, where, where, and this is where condos.ca measures, and they got a lot of problems in the algorithms. I find every time I look here, there's, there's some mistake. And you know, I'm no Einstein math, but my basic math skills are good enough to see where they're wrong and, and okay. But nonetheless, 870, this is the highest price I've ever seen on condos.ca. 14.66 year over year change in values. That's a lot, and that's 600 units sold and 800 rented and you expand this you need to be logged in uh, once you expand this you can see here that um, although we have very low number of sales the dollar per foot is going up and up and up and that actually i had this open somewhere here okay so this is the treb i'm jump, jumping around but just to show you my point here uh this is the treb home market watch and when you look here you can, it shows you that the price went up by 15.4% and condos.ca said uh, just on 15. So it's about the same. You know, we're looking at 15% year over year. I told you in, in uh, my video, 2020 peak condo and 15% increase. And so far, I'm right about it. Uh, seasonally adjusted a little less. But look, this story is, is right here. The selling price is going up. But the amount of units, total new listings, okay, it's down by a lot. So we've had a lot more choice last year. More people were selling last year and less people are selling this year. How could that be? Were we adding 15, 16, 18, 20,000 units to the market every day? Those are the completed buildings. So, you know, we don't have a lot of vacant units. Like people think all oh, Toronto is like, it's all vacant condos owned by, no, it's not. Actually, most of these condos are rented. Now there's more uh, condos for rent right now in the market. Um, but you know, that's seasonal. It's winter now, most people move in July August and September, a lot of people who come to Toronto are students. You know, they come either from the 905 or they come from uh, 613, 705, 519. 
uh, and for those who are not local, 905 is the area surrounding Toronto, 705 is Barrie, it's north of us, 613 is east of us, all the way to Ottawa, and um, 519 is west of us, okay, so that'll be like Hamilton, St. Catharines, okay, that's quick geography. <laughs> uh, and, and you can see, like, it's, this is no joke, um, people are buying faster, it's it's uh, the average the average sale. The average sale in downtown, by the way, is about 23, 24 days for a condo if it's priced properly, and maybe 30 days for a million dollar property. And month to month, it's about the same. One day change, whatever. Okay, so uh, it, it's it's it, it's a big issue here. As Toronto grows, and by the way, you'll see Kaplan here, UrbanRealtyToronto.com. When you get the Investor Insider, you can fill this if you like, just to get some uh, information. UOCCaplan.com also have the same pop-up. This is more of a, the first side I showed you here. Um, that's where I put, I put some, uh, some for sale, I put some investing, but this is mostly for sale stuff and assignments and places to buy. And, and I did a couple of these articles, 2019-2023, best three best investor condo projects, which are all master plan communities, Crosstown, Galleria, Tridel. A lot of information here. UOCCaplan.com, more in-depth information. So. These are all the videos as articles. Okay, lots of information for you. That's the YouTube channel you can have right now. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing. Corona is pretty serious, by the way. I seriously suggest you start to stock up on food because next week or this week, the CBC can say, you know what? You, you're you going to have to stay home for a month. So stock up on some food. But back to 55 Mercer. So 55 Mercer is selling for 1500 a foot. Okay. Um, now that's almost double what the average of Toronto is selling and resale, even if I take King West, so I was looking here, it sells for a thousand a foot. It's 802 square feet. They're asking 820, 819. Uh, they may have a parking. Park. One parking right in front of me. But it's got a parking too, so that's a really good price. It's not less than a thousand a foot. It's a great unit. You know, I love fashion house. Um, it's got a nice pool. It's a nice community. Everyone knows each other. Lots of dogs in the building. Okay, so you can go here and buy yourself a unit right now, but you got to move in right now at this price, or you can go on 55 Mercer and pay this kind of price. So for these 800 square feet units, you're going to pay about, say, about a million bucks, a million dollars. And this one is, so it's $200,000 less. That's, that's the difference. So 25% more. In this case, something like that, and with the parking, so add another hundred thousand or whatever they charge for the parking, say a hundred, so three hundred thousand dollar difference, so it's forty percent difference. Is it worth it? Well, here, here's what it is. The reason, you know, and and what you're looking at here, you're really looking at, and this this is gonna sell out. Okay, this came out last week, and and I, I it's just gonna sell out. And there, there's there's a few reasons why it's gonna sell out. Number one is people look into the future and go. I want to live in this building. I want, I want to be in this uh, right off Spadina, King of Spadina, basically the center of the universe. You know, people didn't realize, like, everyone who wanted to be on the subway and now being on the subway is expensive and it's busy. And people start to realize that being off subway, it's also really good. And what's better to be King of Spadina? I mean, that's a block away from King University. If you really need to be by financial center, you can walk over. You don't have to experience the terrible thing that is called TTC. Okay, completely mismanaged, it's like, cannot move the people. Um, so there's a price to that. And a lot of people just want to pay the 15%. Okay, so you know, 150,000, if you have $100,000, 15%, it gets you somewhere in this range here. You can still score yourself a one bed. Maybe you got 200,000, you can score at one plus den. And that's a good long-term investment. I mean, you're looking at about probably four years until, until the building registers. In this four years, even if the average price go up by only 10% a year, you're already at that price. So you're actually paying tomorrow's price today. And the reason you're buying now at uh, 30 or 40% less is because you have to occupy it right away. A lot of people don't want to occupy. They already have a home and they don't want to deal with tenants. So they buy new units and they're going to do these units and they're willing to pay that kind of price because they say, I got, I got $200,000 to spend. I don't want to put in a stock market. I better go into like the latest and greatest. Yes, it's a bit expensive, but that's the difference between buying a Mercedes and buying a Toyota, or buying a used car, buying a brand new car. You know, you're gonna pay for it. So that's what it is, and that's why these buildings are selling out. Now they do have nine-foot ceilings. 
you know, Senacord is a phenomenal developer. They came out of another large company, and they're about 10 years in the business right now. They've very successfully completed a lot of projects, and they got a really good, fast pace of working. These guys, they're serious, serious professionals. Uh, another option you can you can look at, which I really like, but you know, some people that are downtown people, they they don't want to look any anywhere out the core. Some people are willing to go King West, and some people don't even willing to go Queen West. I do because I think that as an investor, it's very important to me. Now, I can't tell you how, how many of these units are already sold, but the price is much more reasonable because you see it, it's just over a thousand a foot here. So to me, living at Queen and Gladstone uh, is phenomenal because I love Queen West. And actually, if you go Queen West, what you're going to realize is Queen West is actually more expensive than King West. Let's see if. Uh, Let's see if if uh, uh, Connors does say agrees with me. <laughs> just for kicks, uh, ten ten a foot for King West, and I'll just say Queen West. And mind you, again, there, there's some serious issues with their tens. Yeah, so it's more. See, Queen West is more expensive, eighty buck a foot more. Okay, so one percent of a thousand is ten. That's about seven, eight percent more expensive than King West. Why is that? Because Queen West has less supply, less supply, and it's more or less the same people that go live there. Uh, they're post university. They got good jobs, so but uh, way less units. So that's why Queen West is more desirable. Now watch. This is based on four hundred forty-three recent sales in Queen West. Go back here, King West, King West. Type it again, King West, based on 992. Okay, that's good. So there's more more supply here. You see, there's more supply. Uh, and because there's more supply, uh, the price could be a little lower. Okay? Now, the thing with the with the new construction stuff, the supply is limited. There's really, there's not a lot of buildings released this year. There's Untitled at uh, Young and Egg. And there's Galleria earlier. And now this one, 55 Mercer. So... 1400 1500 the foot seemed that there's no no end in sight that that is good that is going you know um king west is going to start building here king west is sold uh, the last unit sold probably 1800 pennas for 2000 a foot and it's just what it is okay people are anticipating the future and when you anticipate the future you bring in inflation you bring in everything that you know and a lot of money still coming to canada from other countries tons and tons of money coming from other countries it usually comes in u.s dollar that gives you a 30 percent discount on your price so if you're doing this you know you're doing great um, I'll, and you'll notice a lot of the buyers that buying in this they're new canadians the first or second generation canadians a lot of them are first generation so am i okay i still have the accent <laughs> i'll have it forever <laughs> Um, but that's what it is. So when when uh, people from other countries come, you know, where I come from, the prices are like in New York. So this is actually not expensive if you come from Tel Aviv. That's more or less normal for this kind of building. And you can expect even higher at certain areas. So Toronto is actually cheap relative to some countries in Europe, in the Middle East, uh, in the States, usually at the New York area and then in the San Fran, California area. And then you can go to Queen West and score amazing, amazing deals. And if you want to know what's available right now, 1181, just give me a quick uh, shout and I'll set you up. Um, I also send this to my uh, list. Uh, if you want to go a little bit east, this is uh, around Dundas Parliament. And the Daniels, Daniels, you know, they built a festival, they built cinema, they built tons of stuff, the Wyatt. So you can still get an assignment, one bed at 538 and two plus two, 855, so 859. Those are a thousand bucks a foot, and you can move into these very, very soon. So, if you, so the way it seems to be working is that if you want to move into something very, very soon, that you want to take possession, the sooner it is, the the sooner it is. Like this one, basically take possession right away. You know, in 30, 60 days, that, that's right away in real estate. Then the price will be the cheapest. And if it's further out in the future, the price will be the most expensive. So the sooner it is to close, the cheaper it gets. And of course, don't forget that uh, stuff like 488 University, do I have it here? Uh, 488 University, which we, we've done a bunch of work there. Um, those, I'm just going to see if I have a post. It's probably buried somewhere in there. Um, you know, you can still get units there for 11 and 1200 a foot. But the moment that building is, register, is uh, registers, um, I think the price will be way, way higher. Nordic condos which is mostly sold out, almost completely sold out. You can still get a really nice two-bedroom for 600 grand. 
Uh, that's gone now, but you can get an assignment in one of the buildings around, also brand new, just started last year, um, for about that price, which is very, very good. Playground, you can still get a thousand bucks a foot, okay? Uh, how do I try to come step by step? Okay. Uh, these were the prices of Keeley, more or less sold, but you can see under 600, uh, right by York University, right across from that artificial lake at the park. Very, very nice. So you have options, my friend, and you just need to know the game that you're playing. So if you're pay, playing a game of a long-term game and you want to invest right at the center of everything, that be willing and ready to pay fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars a foot, maybe more. And if you want something that is uh, halfway, say a year or two years in the future, then go for an assignment and grab yourself an assignment. This is maybe six months in the future, but or eight months in the future. But some of them are also one and two years in the future, and those will be a little less. And then if you want to go and completely less, then buy one of these things and move in yourself or rent it out. And you're good. Also, when you buy a resale, you don't have the closing costs and the HST on new building, which you will have um, if you're an investor. So there's a lot of advantages uh, of buying resale because it's cheaper and the transactional costs being the development charges and the HST involvement and HST get the best advice you can because it's a complicated matter. I'm not going to give you HSD advice, obviously. Um, those you need to know what you're doing, okay? So that's it for today, my friends. You have a lot of options. If you want to search, I'll give you a few quick options to search. One is go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, scroll all the way to the bottom, and there's pre-made searches here that will pop you right into my listing. So you want to see what's in King West, just hit it, and then go to King West Condos for sale, and then flip into an actual live map that shows you what's available, okay? So that's the live map for King West. If you wanna find assignments, go to special searches, uh, hit the assignments, and you'll go, now there's way, way more assignments than this, but it gives you a few assignments in the system. Usually it's around 50 or 60 of those, sometimes 70 I see. It's live. Listing alerts, if you wanna, if you wanna get alerts, just put your location here and the system will send you alerts. That's all you gotta do. If you want to, um, see penthouses this is a penthouse search okay so it's running through all of the toronto area a little east a little west and it's basically looking for penthouses the system is looking for penthouses if you want to find uh, condos with pools it's kind of fun okay then there you go and it's going to search less of them but there's still hey, this one for one 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 that's how it was priced okay condos with pools if you want to see loft you can hit the loft here and they'll find you some lofts. Okay, there's, there's many, many ways to search. It's looking for the keyword loft in this case. Uh, okay, the last two more is the most expensive. That's gonna run you a search, 10 million. These are condos only, okay? So it starts at 10 million. There's more, but they're not condos. And then homes, that's where you're gonna find not condos. And then if you're gonna sort it by most expensive, price high to low, then there's a 32 million unit at the bridal path, okay? And then it jumps to 22, 30, 22, 21. All right, my friends, you also hear there's a lot more, obviously, but that's good enough for today. I think we covered a lot of ground. Um, new construction, not going anywhere. New construction becomes assignment, and assignment becomes resale. Remember the three differences, they're very important. If you want to talk about it more, just give me a call. Yossi Kaplan, I'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you very much. Take care.